Regarding the question of uh, uh, UN Security Council reform, um, I have to say, you know, very honestly that uh, this is a, a process, uh, one of the most complex, uh, divisive and contentious negotiation processes uh, at the UN. Uh, as you know, uh, the, uh, the um, reform of the Security Council is under the responsibility of the General Assembly. The process of reform has started 25 years ago, and the, uh, the mandate to negotiate the reform came 10 years ago when I was Ambassador of Ecuador at the UN. And at the time I thought, okay, we have a resolution to start the negotiations and uh, with a great naivete, I, I said this is going to be a process of perhaps two or three years. 10 years later, I have to say that uh, there is no consensus. They, they are very different views and positions uh, regarding the reform process. Uh, as we know, uh, we need consensus uh, to advance uh, in a meaningful uh, reform. This is one of the issues where uh, my role as president is uh, to lead, to make sure that we agree on the fundamentals, to ensure that the process is inclusive and transparent, but the outcome of the reform is going to uh, depend very much on the political will of member states themselves. Climate-induced uh, shrinkage of uh, Lake Chad. And, um, you know, for us, it's an existential issue uh, because this is a, a, a lake that um, almost 30 million people depend on for their livelihood. And um, we have seen it shrink by almost 90% uh, over the years. And um, this has uh, created uh, very severe challenges uh, for the people uh, of that subregion and indeed for, um, uh, for our country. And uh, we are looking to um, have the support of the United Nations and your support uh, in particular uh, to uh, address this challenge. And one of the mechanisms uh, or strategies uh, we have identified is the recharging of the lake. Uh, this is going to be a very capital intensive uh, effort and um, something in the order of um, 40 to 50 billion uh, US dollars uh, estimated and uh, clearly we're going to um, have to leverage uh, on the international community uh, because these are huge resources.